اهلا كيف هي احوالكم هذا اليوم ويلكم تو ليرن اربيك اونلاين ويد لبنى دوميان كان يو ديسكرايب يور سيلف وات از يور كاركتر لايك ستادي يور دوينغز يور هابيتس يور كواليتيز يور ستيت اوف مايند ذات از يو ان رياليتي Here we go again, in need of Arabic vocabulary, since you will be interpreting yourself in Arabic. We have already talked about derivatives, which are the active participle, the performer, ismul fa'il, rhyming with fa'il. The passive participle, mentioning the one having undergone the action of the verb, the victim of the action of the verb. Ismu al mafrul, rhyming with mafrul. Hyperbole, referring to exaggeration, with its numerous patterns. The elative. Comparative and superlative adjectives rhyming with أفعلو. and the resembling adjective which is the star of the day. You need a fat brain to fit in all these terms. Actually, forget about the labels. And just focus on the concepts, which are more important than names. Asifatu al mushabbahatu, the resembling adjective. An adjective resembling the active participle. Sifa means adjective, attribute. And mu shabbaha is the passive participle of the verb shabbaha to compare or liken. Is that noun derived from a trilateral intransitive verb? You have to underline this trilateral intransitive. Like. سهولة to be or become easy صعوبة is be difficult be hard كبورة to grow up to become big صغورة to be or become small to decrease in size. Khaffa, the geminate verb, khaffa, to abate, to lessen. Sawida, to become black. Sada, to rule. Samina, to fatten. These verbs only involve the subject and do not need a direct object. So we understand the meaning of these intransitive verbs from, from the verb and its performer, its subject. The resembling participle indicates the root meaning being an attribute, sifa. And this attribute is usually perpetual, continual, um, lasting, or intrinsic, inherent. In other words, it is an adjective that denotes a permanent, semi-permanent or inherent quality. 
It is a derivative implying the aspect of an affirmed condition in the subject. For example, أنا مريض. I am sick. مريض. Rhyming with فعيل. From the verb مريضة. Trilateral. Intransitive. To be sick. So this expression implies two facts. An affirmed situation, which is the sickness. And the carrier of the disease, that is, the sick person, Marid. It is proven that he is sick for a certain period of time, hopefully not permanent. The subject acquired the feature of the verb Marida. The resembling participle is stamped by its Verb, bam. The verb endows the subject. Uh, the verb endows the resembling participle with its character, with certainty and continuance, distinction from the active participle. Since the active participle does not require certainty or continuity. The resembling participle only exists only exists for trilateral roots. Don't forget that. In transitive verbs, trilateral roots. And is constructed by placing the root letters on one of many patterns that I would just mention the most common ones. Fa'il Fa'ul Fa'il Fu'al Fa'al We also have Af'al with the feminine Fa'ala'a and Fa'alan with the feminine of fa'la, ending with the shortened alif. Some points to um, know about the resembling participle. Mostly, you will be deriving the resembling participle from fa'ula and fa'ila. It can occupy any grammatical position in, in a sentence. It can be used as both an adjective or a noun. All right, let's clarify this with some awesome examples. Saluba, rhyming with Fa'ula. Saluba al Hadidu. Saluba means to harden. The iron hardened. Okay, so let's derive uh, uh, the resembling participle from this verb, since this verb is intransitive and trilateral. It just, it doesn't need any object to complete the meaning of the sentence. Verb plus Subject, saluba al hadidu. So, al hadidu, we start with the subject. Al hadidu, sulbun, rhyming with fu'lun. The um, iron is hard. So, we went from a verbal sentence to a nominal one. So, saluba, sulbun, dhami'a. Al-musafiru. Dhami'a, rhyming with fa'ila. Trilateral. And is, is a, a, an intransitive verb. Having just its performer. As its companion. So, the traveler, al-musafiru. The traveler got thirsty. 
So let's um, derive the resembling participle RP from ZAMIA. ZAMIA, ZAMANU, ZAMANU, thirsty. So the traveler is thirsty. This is a nominal sentence. Vam an. Here we have this sign on top of the alif. This is alif mad, elongated alif, which is just the hamza plus the long vowel alif. This equals this. All right. So the traveler is thirsty, and vam anu is tiptoed. It ends just with a single dhamma. Dham anu. No nonation. We don't double the last vowel. And since dham an is an adjective, it will copy the grammatical case of its subject. Nominative case with the sign of dhamma. Dhamma. Fariha. Fariha. Talibu binajahihi. Fariha. Fa'ila. So, the student was pleased to be pleased. Fariha was pleased with his success. Bi najahihi. So, Fariha, Farihun, Fa'ilun. At-talibu, again, we'll start with the performer, the subject, the student. At-talibu, Farihun. So the student is cheerful um, about his success or happy with his success. Faila, failun. Faula, failun. Faila, failan. الماء عذبة والجو لطفة. You can always shuffle the words. The verb can come before the subject or after. It doesn't matter. You can shuffle them all around. So الماء عذبة فعلة والجو لطفة. So the water became fresh. Zuba to become fresh and the weather became nice. So Aduba instead of the verb Aduba, let's use a resembling participle. Azbun Azuba Azbun Latufa Latifun Fa'lun Fa'ilun. So the water is fresh and the weather is nice. الماء عذب والجو لطيف وجه الطفل صفرة من الخوف The face of the child وجه وجه face a طفل child وجه الطفل this is idafa this is the uh, a genitive construction first term second term in the genitive the face of the child became yellow safira became yellow from fear من الخوف from fear so safira asfaru the color the the yellow color, asfaru, tiptoed with one damma. Wajhu tifli asfaru mina al khawfi. The face of the child is yellow from fear. Al hurru la yakunu jabanan. Here we have the verb kana to be conjugated in the present tense. Third person singular masculine huwa he and is negated by la. Al-hurru, al-hurru, the free man. From the verb 
حرة حرة to free جبانا جبانا from the verb جبنا to be coward so الحر لا يكون جبانا the free man is not a coward so الفيل ضخم جسيم the elephant is big and fat here sometimes you don't need to add a conjunction like wa 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 means and in between the two adjectives you can just say الفيل ضخم جسيم or الفيل ضخم وجسيم it's up to you all right it's unlike english you have to put a comma or a and so الفيل ضخم جسيم we already know that this animal is fat and big so these features are permanent that's why we are using the resembling participle ضخمون rhyming with فعلون جسيمون فعيلون لطيفون فعيلون الفائز فرح سعيد so the winner is cheerful and happy cheerful and happy فاعل فاعل القائد the leader القائد بطل شجاع and they all copy the same grammatical case nominative case so these are nominal sentences القائد بطل شجاع the leader is brave بطل and courageous شجاع بطل شجاع الشجرة خضراء ثمرها أحمر so خضراء rhyming with فعلاء referring to the green color so the masculine of خضراء أخضر أفعل فعلاء أحمر حمراء أخضر خضراء so mostly the colors would rhyme the same way so you cannot be confused about that الشجرة is a feminine singular noun that's why we have used um, the a resembling participle rhyming with فعلاء matching in gender the tree is green and it is dipped with a single damma ثمرها ثمر ثمر is the broken plural of ثمرة and it is a masculine plural ها referring to الشجرة we always in need of a returner so ha is the resum uh, re resumptive pronoun referring to the tree الشجرة ha ha third person singular feminine matching in gender with الشجرة so its fruits are أحمروا أحمروا because ثمر is a non-human masculine plural so أحمروا حمراء is the feminine خضراء أخضروا is the masculine ديبتوت ديبتوت وان دمة وان دمة البنت ضم uh, from the verb ضمئة intransitive trilateral فعلا ضمأ ضمآن 
is it's masculine. Here, we didn't use the alif madda because um, we were able to lengthen the sound of Hamza with the shortened alif. And here, because it was followed by a consonant. So, it was the Hamza, it was in the middle of, of the word. That's why we had to use the elongated alif, alif madda. Dham a, the, the girl is thirsty. Dham a. Wa, al-waladu, jawanu. The boy is hungry. Tiptoed. Fa'alan, fa'alan, jawan. Dham'an, fa'ala, jaw'a. Anta azizun alayya, azizun. From the verb azza, azza is to be of great value. You are precious to me. Azizun alayya, we say aziz plus ala. And since I am referring to myself, so we have ala plus the ya, the possessive pronoun referring to the first person singular, ya. So we merge these two as if this shortened alif uh, were a ya. So ya plus ya. Once merged, we top it with the emphasis sign Shadda alayya You are precious to me Anta azizun alayya So for the feminine, we would just add Ta azizatun Ta marbuta Azizatun Alright Ana ta'ibatun Min kathrati al amali. Ta'ibatun from the verb ta'iba. To be tired. So ta'ibun would be its masculine. Ta'ib. Fa'il. Farih. So farih. Fariha. Farihatun is the feminine of farih. Ta'iba is the feminine of ta'ib. So I am tired from. Um, from a lot of work, min kathrati al amali, or from too much work, kathra min kathrati, lot of work or too much work, or excessive work, the way you want, min sahli halu al khilafi bil hiwari. From the verb sahula, sahl, fa'l, or I mean with fa'l. It is easy to solve, halla, to solve the conflict, al khilaf, halu al khilafi, an idafa construction, first term, second term, to solve the conflict, bil hiwari, by talking, al hiwar, talking. So halu. Solve something Hallu khilafi with something else. Halla bi. So halla plus the preposition bi. Hallu al khilafi bi al hiwari. It is easy to solve the conflict by talking. Had al miskinu. Miskin is hyperbole. Miskin. Poor person, miserable. So the feminine of miskin is miskinatun, but we don't pronounce the tamarbuta when it's placed in the end. You say miskina, taiba. Just uh, if, just as if we had a ha instead of a ta, taiba. So this 
poor guy is a ma afalu rhyming with afalu wa araju so this poor guy is blind and lame so diptotes a raju defects and color mostly the r diptotes don't forget كان سيد الملعب سيد from the verb سادة to rule so he was كان the verb to be conjugated in the perfect third person singular masculine and its name is implicit him we don't know who سيدة is its predicate Sayyid al-Malabi, an idafa construction, first term, second term. He was the master of the stadium. Al-Malab, stadium. Sayyid here, master. And Sayyid may stand for mister. If you add the first person possessive pronoun, ya, Sayyidi, my mister. Let's say mister, Sayyidi. You, you may hear that, Sayyidi or Sayyid, Mr. Ishtalati Niranu, a mar, fire, Niran, flames. Ishtalati and Niranu, the flames flared up, flared up. So, Ishtala, to, to flare up. Wa'ala, ala. دخان أسود ديبتوت في الفضاء. so the flames flared up and the black fume دخان fume fume raised high in the space. على to rise high على في الفضاء in the space. so we have Aswadu. Aswadu from the verb sawida to be or become black. Sayyid. Sayyid from the verb sada. Alright? Careful with that. So, note that there is more than one derivative rhyming with fa'il. That is to say, the passive participle, ismul mafrul, hyperbole, ismu al mubalaga, and the resembling participle, asifa al mushabbaha, share the same pattern, fa'il. So, how do we discern between them? Another critical situation. Hmm. مجروح مفعول جريح are the same means injured so جريح مجروح injured so جريح is not a resembling participle but um, a passive participle because it has the same meaning as majruh, which is, rhyming with maf'ul, which is a passive participle. Maqtul, murdered. Qatil, also means murdered. So qatil is a passive participle. Masjoon, prisoner. Sajin. Prisoner. So these words, sajin, qatil, jarih, are subjected to the action of the verb, referring to the passive participles. So careful with the meaning. Alim, fa'il, knowledgeable. Rahim, merciful. Samia, the all hearing. So let's form sentences uh, using their verbs to find out 
what kind of derivative is each of them? Ali from the verb alima. Alright? Alima nasu al haqiqata. People found out what? The truth. Alima is not an intransitive verb. So alim is not a resembling participle. Aha. Rahim from the verb rahima. Rahim al waladu al qittata. The boy was merciful toward the cat. Samia from the verb Samia. Samia talamidu al jarasa. The students heard, heard what? The bell. If you say heard, that's incomplete. So we conclude that these verbs need a direct object to complete the meaning. And hyperbole is the derivative requiring a transitive verb. The elative is mutafdil and the resembling participle share the same pattern afalu. We will be looking for the adjective of the elative. For example, ajmalu. Does ajmalu have an adjective? Yes. Jamil. Jamil, beautiful. So ajmalu, more beautiful. So ajmalu is an elective and jamil is a resembling participle. Abyad is abyad an elative? Let's let's see if abyad has an adjective. Abyad abyad. So it's same. Its adjective is similar to to it. So abyad is not an elative. It is a resembling participle, and mostly the colors will be re resembling participles. Today is special for me because my channel is one year old and it is my birthday. So let me light up the, the candles without burning down my house. All right. Here we go. So, I wish for more subscribers. I wish I could meet all of you wonderful people. I am pleased to know some of my dear subscribers who became such great friends to me. Thank you for being part of my last 365 days journey around Learn Arabic Online with Lubna Dumayan. Happy birthday to me and to you if you were born in October. So, thank you. Until then, you like me, wish me happy birthday and you miss me and you keep learning. Arabic. إلى اللقاء.